Here we are asked to use standard reduction potentials to calculate the equilibrium constant for a redox reaction. Here we have the redox reaction between silver ion and chromium 2 plus ion. The first step is to calculate E cell at standard conditions. And we determine that E cell at standard conditions is positive 1.209 volts. This implies this is highly product favored and we would expect a reasonably large equilibrium constant. The E cell under standard condition means that the reaction would start with one molar concentration of the uh, solute, so the ions. Then the reaction proceeds in a direction to attain equilibrium. If the reaction is associated with a positive voltage, that means the reaction will proceed in a forward direction to attain equilibrium, highly product favored. If the reaction is associated with a negative E cell standard, then the reaction will proceed in the reverse direction, which is reactant favored, and the equilibrium constant would be small, between 0 and 1. The second step is to determine the number of electrons transferred in the redox reaction. Here we see there's a 1 to 1 electron transfer from the cathode reaction to the anode reaction. And the last thing we do is we calculate the equilibrium constant using this equation. E cell equals 0 0.0257 divided by n, the number of electrons, multiplied by the natural log of the equilibrium constant. Doing some algebraic rearrangement, we solve for natural log of the equilibrium constant. We substitute the values that we have, 1 for n, 1.209 for E cell standard, and the 0 0.0257 constant. And natural log of K is 47.03. We take the inverse natural log of both sides, and we have K equals E to the 47.043 power, which is 2.69 times 10 to the 20th. This is an extraordinarily large equilibrium constant, implying a highly product-favored reaction. Here is another example where we are asked to calculate the equilibrium constant for a redox reaction. First, we calculate E cell under standard conditions, and we determine the E cell under standard conditions to be negative 1.239 volts. This would imply the equilibrium constant is extremely small. Next, determine the number of electrons transferred in the reaction. And we see here there's one electron transferred in the silver oxidation half reaction, the anode reaction, and there's two electrons being transferred in the cathode half reaction. So the value of n in this case is 2. And finally, we calculate the equilibrium constant using the equation E cell under standard conditions equals 0 0.0257 over n times the natural log of k. We substitute the values into the equation and we end up with an equilibrium constant value of 1.33 times 10 to the negative 42. Highly reactant favored, as expected because of the negative E cell voltage.